All right, so Serpo's review on NASCAR State. Um, this chase system, not only are 95% of the fans disappointed in it because it's just complete and utter BS, you win 35 races and lose a championship, realistically, um, there is a probability in that. Um, but even the drivers are starting to get fed up. Like Just like Matt Kenseth said, um, it's it's not racing anymore. It, it isn't. Brian France is endorsing intentionally wrecking the field is what he is endorsing. Him being behind what Joey Logano did to Kenseth, yeah, that's racing, and he gave him the bump, and that's not really that bad. And neither is what Newman did to Larson last year. Like, if you do a door slam a guy to get the spot, that's, that's you know, he's going to door slam you eventually. So, but what Harvick did is just endorsing let me intentionally wreck the whole field so I can play this chase system we have and win the championship. Um, really, Harvick is its a disgrace to call him a champion for that, uh, but he's playing the system. That's all it is. Uh, and I don't understand why NASCAR approves of that. Uh, it really shows you who has morals, and Harvick obviously has none, and Brian France is just a loony for you know, endorsing any of it, but the boys have at it thing is, is great when it all doesn't come down to one race because they're going to wreck the field like Harvick did and somebody's going to end up dead. You're putting the driver's lives in danger and at a super speedway, you're putting the fans live in danger because had Harvick needed to do that and their car got up in the grandstands, kind of like Austin Dillon did at Daytona, like what what do what you be doing here? We're losing the whole key to what racing is and what's great about it. NASCAR's falling apart. They can't decide and make up their own rules. At the end of the rule book, they have a rule that says these rules are all subject to our discretion. So basically, none of these rules matter. We'll just make it up as we go. Same thing with the green-white checkered. Just like every analyst and driver said, once that green flag flies, the leader restarts the race. That's an attempt they made up that rule. I don't know if it was to give the fans a finish or if it was to give Junior an opportunity or what it was, but you can't just do something and then be like, whoa, 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 that never happened. Pretend, pretend, restart. No. And you can't let somebody get away with intentionally wrecking half of the field so they can make it on around in the chase. That's just ridiculous. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a joke because... You know, they're going to get somebody killed, and nothing ever changes until somebody dies. I mean, look at Earnhardt with the full face helmet and the Hans device having to be worn. Somebody had to die. Um, it's it's just, it's ridiculous. And NASCAR's falling apart, and I think it will, because if the drivers are fed up with it, like Denny Hamlin said something like, I, I am sorry to everybody who spent money to come see this circus. It really has turned into a circus. It's not racing anymore. It's manufactured drama. This is not the NBA. This is not college football. This is not NFL. This is NASCAR. This is racing. This isn't supposed to be like this. Like, I don't understand why they had to get away from it. it it's dumb. It's a waste. And if I wasn't such a big damn Kyle Busch fan, I wouldn't watch. But uh, they need to fix the chase. They need to fix their rules. They need to stop being so bipolar and making shit up on the fly because it's just falling apart and if they keep it going this way a bunch of drivers who honestly have nothing to gain financially like Kenzen, any driver in the Cup Series that is a top 20 driver has nothing to gain financially they'll just leave and call it quits I mean why do you think Burton retired why do you think Jeff's retiring Tony's retiring I mean it's yeah their careers are, are long and they're coming to an end but it's, it's getting to be a bit of a joke, and you'll have people calling it quits at 33 because they have nothing to lose. I mean, Kyle Busch has already got $40 million made. There's You, you can live off that the rest of your life. There's no reason for him to allow NASCAR to have, let somebody intentionally wreck the field and kill him. Like, what the... Uh, I, I don't even know. It's a joke, and we'll tune in next week for some more shenanigans at Martinsville.